Hello, welcome to Anselm Griffin's Caucasian series of YouTube tutorials. Today we're looking at a while loop and the possibility of an infinite loop in, uh, in our programming environment. I was going to say in MATLAB, but you can have an infinite loop in any programming environment using a while. Uh, it would help today if you're familiar with uh, the approximation to get, a, to get the square root of a number. If you're not familiar and you're Googling it, it would be Heron's method or the Babylonian method. Now I've given a couple of steps there. So you put in a number. Now ideally be kind of near the real square root. But, and then, so the second step is you divide your guess by this in exact square root. Third step, Take the average of that, the second step and the root, and then use result two and three until the error tolerance is reached. So scroll down a little bit here. So our error, error tolerance is one by 10 to the minus five. My initial guess is one. And on line 18, we put in the number that we want to get the square root of. And on line 20, we just to keep in my old guess equals uh, whatever I put in on line 19. Now, it's incorrectly written at the moment. And the way I've written it at the moment deliberately, you could have an infinite loop. It is possible that new guess minus old guess would be negative. Now, you could get very close to the real root, but we keep going. Why? Because if new guess is smaller than own guess, it'll approach zero from the negative side. So you could end up like minus one by 10 to the minus 12, which would be a very, very small number. You, you'd think you'd be well within the tolerance of one by 10 to the minus five. But remember, my error tolerance is plus. So, what I have to do here, I have to ensure that new guess minus old guess that I'm always getting a positive answer. And how do I do that? I put in abs or absolute. So that's what it is. So it is correct now, and there's no possibility of getting an infinite loop. If you ran the program without the abs, you could get an infinite loop. And the only way to break out of that is with a control C on a Windows machine. So old guess is new guess, and then my new guess, I, comp I compute it that way, and that is. So you keep iterating like that until new guess minus old guess, the differences between the two terms is very, very small, and what's very, very small, plus one by 10 to the minus five. So once it's, Equal to one by 10 to the minus five or smaller, the program will terminate. We scroll down a little bit. We just do a little error check. It isn't the most brilliant error check program in the world, but we just check that the initial number we put in is greater than zero, just to stop trying to get the square root of a negative number because Heron's method won't work uh, for imaginary numbers. Okay, yes. In that, we might just run this. And we're going to put in 22 or something like that. And the square root of 22 is approximately, and that seems in my head approximately right. Okay, so hope that helps a little, and thanks very much for listening.